One of the cool things about the portals as well is that there's also a dining portal. Yes, so for I wanted to talk people. about this too. Yes, for so. all you people who love eating out, this is for Me. you. <laughs> I'm Trizzy. And I'm Leah. And this is Ticket to Anywhere podcast, bringing you the gear, tools, and tips to equip you for a travel-filled life. No matter your travel experience or lack thereof, we aim to be your first stop when you're thinking of where to go, how to get there, what to bring, and what to do. Catch the latest episode every other Wednesday on YouTube or your favorite listening app. We'd love to connect with you. Find Ticket to Anywhere on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Welcome back to another episode of the Ticket to Anywhere podcast. I am one of your co-hosts, Trizzy at Triz Inc. And I'm Leah, LA in flight. And we got a good episode today. Yes, we're trying to make you spend money, but also get back more miles with it. We dove deep into shopping portals of major airlines such as Alaska, American, United, Delta, etc. So for those of you who don't know that you could online shop and gain mileage. This is an episode for you. Hopefully you get it. You should be doing it. this. Hopefully mm-hmm. you are. Yeah. And it's it's for everyone and anyone. Those mm-hmm. who love shopping and those who don't really love shopping. <laughs> but when they do shop, why not get something back mm-hmm. every time you spend a dollar? So 100%. Yep. 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 I know I don't use them as extensively as you do, but you had some really good tips here. And then we kind of went off the rails at the end and started talking about other programs. But, you know, if you're not as advanced shopping through multiple portals, <laughs> clicking on different things, then then we do talk about um, a few other like links and programs you can hook up to your airline or your credit cards that um, – should be helpful and then obviously this is like a precursor to we love talking finances and budget because you need money to travel so we'll Mm -hmm. have a couple episodes later this year in 2024 on that i feel like during these times it's very essential that we have episodes like these because of how expensive things are nowadays so even getting 25 cents back could be helpful or hopefully helpful it helps me anything, you know like 25 cents better than zero cents exactly i'm like boba is ten dollars now like oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> honestly <laughs> okay sidebar we're at portos if y'all live or been to la you know about portos you know what's up but portos sells a 20 ounce latte this is how much me and my family drink ice lattes and coffee they sell a 20 ounce latte with oat milk Keep in mind, alternative milk usually sub costs a, mm-hmm. costs more, right? Twenty ounce flavored latte with oat milk sub for six dollars and seventy five cents, and I was like so excited, but my brother in law was cackling because like th- a coffee should not cost that much money, mm. but the fact that six seventy five is cheap compared to we're paying like eight nine dollars for Starbucks That's lattes true. now. Yeah. And so we were laughing because like six seventy five, it's like, dude, bruh. <laughs> right. You that's see how excited cheap, I got when you're like six yeah, I was like, oh, that's, that's a good price. It is. But it's, it's really like, good yo, price. No. <laughs> but Portos is you you come out to LA, get out to Portos, y'all. If you if you haven't tried it yet, it's so good. It's a Cuban bakery, but they're known for keeping their prices low and affordable. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. I didn't Wait. know that was a thing. Oh, really? Well, I mean, yeah. girl, you can get cheese rolls there for 95 cents. <laughs> Still. It's true. It's true. <laughs> And their cheese rolls are bomb. Oh, yeah. With their potato balls. Talking about inflation and the price of things, you know, mm-hmm. coming back to this episode, reeling it back in, coming back to this episode. Hopefully, you can sure. get some miles back, earn, earn some points back, earn some cash back. Yeah, definitely. And since we're on the topic of coffee, what, what <laughs> coffee do you have for the episode? Honestly, I just made like straight up a little Costco K pod, like breakfast blends, nice. Costco Kirkland brand, right? With some silk almond milk vanilla creamer. Nice. Very, very simple. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. I am sipping on a Tazo Earl Grey tea bag. Cheers to more miles and points and cheers to another episode. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Leah, how do you do your online shopping? Do you get incentives <laughs> back? 
Um, I do, but I just know that I'm not as as meticulous about it as you are. I'm just like whatever pops up, you know, cool, mm -hmm. cash back, cool, 1%, cool. Click click click. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I shop online or in stores, I have to make sure I get some sort of incentive back, which nowadays mm -hmm. makes it easy because a lot of credit cards, they'll offer mileage back, points, cash back. So it's it's always a win-win nowadays. Mm -hmm. Before, I know they didn't always like do that. But this episode, we're going to strictly talk about shopping portals through your favorite major airlines or not favorite doesn't matter <laughs> how you see it <laughs> or ones you could decide to build loyalty towards if you're just mm -hmm. starting out in building loyalty towards an airline right mm -hmm. exactly i live in the west coast and i travel a lot between la and seattle so alaska is what i'm loyal to alaska and along with other major airlines american delta united JetBlue. Uh, they all have a shopping portal. And basically what a shopping portal is, ways to earn miles while shopping online. So and there's thousands of brands to choose from. And my favorite ones are Nike, Home Depot sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you own a house. so Container store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and it's no fee to sign up. All you have to do is if you have an account like a regular account when you're booking flights, you can create a shopping portal account. So you can mm -hmm. start earning miles while shopping online. Who is this for? It's for everybody, everybody and anybody, especially the ones who love shopping online. Like why mm -hmm. not get incentives back when you're buying new shoes? Why not get incentives back? If you're even buying new tires, apparently you could buy tires online and still get mileage back. For me, um, before I had my travel credit card, mm -hmm. I didn't want to pay the annual fee. So if you're one of those who um, still don't want to pay annual fees on travel credit cards, this is another great way to earn mileage back. And it's, it is a extra step in the process. So if you don't mind taking an extra step of clicking a shopping link through the shopping portals, mm -hmm. then this mileage program, this shopping portal is for you. And mm -hmm. I don't mind at all. And the good thing about this too, is like, you can stack, mm -hmm. you can stack on mileage from your credit card and through the shopping portals. Yep. Get more bang for your buck. Yeah. An example is if you have a Capital One Venture X, your everyday spending, you get what? Two times the points, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get two times the points and let's say you're going through the Alaska mileage shopping portal and you're buying shoes at Nike and Nike's offering 2% uh, or two points per dollar on the shoe. So on top of the money that you're getting back or the miles points that you're getting back from your capital one, you're going to be getting more from Nike as well. So it's like double. That's what stacking is. And if you're looking into getting more stacking, one of my favorite things, I have the Alaska visa card mm -hmm. and it goes through bank of America. So bank of America nonstop daily there's always new cashback deals that you could link in the app to your credit card so okay if you're going through the portal you're getting the portal points or the portal miles plus the credit card bonus which is i think with alaska is like one point per mile and on top of that you'll if you're linking the cashback deal you could get five percent cash back Mm -hmm. So that's three things you're stacking on that you're getting more incentives back. It might not all like total into miles, but at least you're getting like two, two of them are going to be miles and one of them is going to be cash back. Now, the unfortunate thing about these shopping portals are you have to go through the portals. Mm -hmm. So if you're on um, Nordstrom.com, roaming around shopping and you find like this jacket that you really like and you hit buy, you're not going to get points through there. 
you you have to go to let's say American Airlines portal, their shopping okay. portal, click Nordstrom, okay, and then they'll pop up a new window and you mm. stroll through there, you buy through there. One thing that helps is if you download browser extensions. Mm -hmm. I know Alaska has it. I'm not sure if uh, other airlines have it. Um, but you mentioned, Leah, that you had browser extensions. I do. Right? I have browser okay. extensions for my credit card portal, Capital One, okay. shopping, nice. and then the Rakuten one, which we can expand on a little later. Yep. Those are nice. the only two extensions I have. Okay. As far mm -hmm. as like the major airlines, I think Alaska is the only one that might have it. Maybe really? American too. Yeah. They're in the same alliance. So I can only assume oh. that they're rocking with the same features. So I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. When going to like to get the cash back or the mileage um, on more Nordstrom through American Airlines, you're going through like the American Airlines branded shopping portal, right? So it's like AmericanAirlines.com or like whatever, show, whatever the portal is called. Yeah. And then you go through there and click on Nordstrom and then it takes you to that site because it's already linked to yes. through American. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They have like these transaction IDs that mm -hmm. the computer detects, the system detects. So, um, in the sense where you do go through the portal and then months later you notice you don't get your points you could find that transaction id in your history yeah. they'll link it and then you'll get your points like that okay yeah okay there's always ways another thing that sucks about these portals is that the shop you're supposed to be <laughs> selling us to the i don't know but, them. but these were kind of like the heads up Those there's no amazon and no target and i know those yeah. are the two major stores that a lot of people uh, shop from yeah so I think that's yeah. like any portal though my shopping portals mm -hmm. the only two that I use definitely don't have actually no one of them has target but definitely not Amazon Ooh, they used to have target they used to have target and they, they'll offer like 0.5 percent or 0.5 back or one back but yeah now it's very it's like low percentage no rewards yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like no have been yeah. a target yeah however online shopping isn't where you can stop they have developed in-store shopping as well. Mm. Um, but this one, you don't have thousands of brands or companies, right? The list is a little bit less extensive for in-stores. And some of these places I've never even heard of, they might be <laughs> in different regions of the United States. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but basically, it's under the same shopping, same online shopping portal. You just have to find the in-store offers. Oh. So you click on that, you link, this is a must, you link the credit cards that you think you'll be using mm -hmm. in-store. And on top of that, you have to click on, let's say, I think I saw Nordstrom Rack as one of them. Mm -hmm. not, not Nordstrom, but Nordstrom Rack. So you have to manually click on Nordstrom Rack to activate that link so that if you're shopping in-store, you will get the mileage back that way you could put multiple credit cards into one but let's say if you're if you're trying to add it to american and united one of the same credit cards it's gonna kick out the other one mm, yeah what i always do too like randomly um is check back just to see if sometimes there's like a promotion that they'll increase the mileage okay. per dollar. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes, especially during holidays, I think Nike has offered like eight times the mileage before. And I was like, oh, this is deals. <laughs> deals. <laughs> Only a nerd like me will appreciate that. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's anyone who's shopping Nike or loyal to Nike or buying from Nike should be looking for things like that. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. One of the cool things about the portals as well is that there's also a dining portal. So yes. For I wanted to talk people, about this too. Yes. For so. all you people who love eating out, this is for Me. you, <laughs> Leah. Um, so it works kind of like the same as the in-store where you register your credit card in that mm -hmm. dining portal. And you eat at one of these restaurants that's listed on the portal site. It's not like you could just randomly go to Howling Rays or Shake Shack or something and then expect payment or expect mileage back. Like there's specific 
um, restaurants that you have to pick from the list. Mm -hmm. And seriously, read the fine print because not all days will be considered a um, a day where you get mileage back. Okay. That's what so I found do, out the hard way. So who do you normally do? You do this through Alaska? I do it with Alaska, yeah. Okay. I'm most loyal to them. And you remember our meetup a few weeks ago at Common Space yeah. Brewery? Mm -hmm. I got mileage back on that. <laughs> okay. So I use dining portals in a little bit of a different way. Okay. I have, I think I'm registered to the Delta dining portal. Mm. And I can't remember if it's, oh my gosh, I wish I had researched this before. I didn't even think of this, but I can't remember if it's like one card per portal. I think that's how it is. Or like it is one portal per card if that makes sense, because mm -hmm. I had been registered for the Delta Dining Portal for so long. I also got uh, mileage back at Common Space nice. um, for Delta, but I tried to register for the Southwest Dining Portal and it wouldn't, and then it kicked off my Delta Dining Portal. Yeah. So, and if I think have this a was on my credit card. card. Yeah, this was on my food cart. So my food cart is the Amex Green. I'll leave my link for anyone that wants the Amex Green because it's a good food and travel card, I believe. Better than the Rose Gold. Um, but yeah, so you can only have one portal per. And I was like, well, I've been with Delta forever. No use in trying to start building up with Southwest. So I just kept the Delta. But with the Delta Dining Portal, you don't get miles or points until you leave a review. So Ooh. yeah, which is big. You know what? That's they a might really extra be... step. That's a big extra yeah. step. But you, it just has to be like two sentences. So I always do it because I'm like, I yeah. want these miles or points yeah. or whatever. Hell yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's low, low effort, low energy. So it might is. As well. I mean, I don't guess it depends on who you're talking to, right? A lot of people, mm -hmm. even normally I would be turned off by being like, oh, I don't want to leave a review. But when there's no like you just have to leave a couple words like a sentence or something mm -hmm. so wow these airlines are trying to be like the next yelp basically like have oh people oh my gosh do just rely on their reviews how about you just <laughs> stick to what you're good at and fly people <laughs> yes fly people safely yes <laughs> they're trying to break into google maps and yelp and TripAdvisor. i'm like oh my gosh yeah for real but they i would say some of the list the dining um mm -hmm. on the list in the dining portals that you'll notice is a lot of local restaurants mm -hmm. you're not gonna find um like chains I, exactly you're not gonna find yeah. big chains and i guess it's something that is beneficial for small local businesses too mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Yep. It works in their favor. And if you're a big supporter of that, then go for it. Yeah. Let's jump into Rakuten really quick. Yeah. And we, we've we mentioned Rakuten a bit in the past. We even had like an episode about point stacking back in yeah. the day or mile stacking. And then Rakuten was brought up. And I, I still use it. You know, I compare it with Alaska to see which one I get mo more. And then I'll uh, move forward with that one. Rakuten, Leah has the browser extension, so it pops up for yeah. her whenever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those who don't want to specifically go to that website, if you just want to mindlessly start shopping, mm -hmm. download the extensions, the browser extensions. So what do you do with your rewards on Rakuten? Let's talk about how we use them because we both use them differently, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, how do you use yours? My rewards, I just get it in a big fat check. Big fat like, check. Okay. Exactly. And I'll Which deposit is like it. cash to your PayPal or something? They send me a check and then I just deposit straight to oh, they one literally of my send you a check. Account. Yeah. It's called a big fat <laughs> check. And sometimes a big fat check will be like $5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it took you two years. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Physically, you get a check in the mail? Mm hmm Girl, yeah. what is this? 2024. I, for some Click reason, don't like option. using okay. PayPal. So, like, um, you don't use PayPal? I don't use it that much. Yeah. It's hard. I feel like it's hard to get away from now. And PayPal mm -hmm. owns Venmo now. Mm. So, it's like hard to get away. Okay. So, you literally get yours in cash back. And we, yeah, we've definitely talked about this before. So, I, when I found out there was this option, 
uh, because I'm like Club MX now and I'll never get over it. I will like, Brad, it took me forever to get here. And even though I've down, quote unquote, downgraded to the lowest card, quote unquote, the lowest card, the green, I felt like it was better for my expenses. I went from the gold to the green, which people would say is a downgrade. But for me, I'm like, well, I'm still getting three points on food and restaurants and then three points on travel, which the rose gold didn't give me anything on travel and it only gave me four points on food. So it's like, well, why not have a card that gets me both travel and food, right? Um, But I transfer my points back to my Amex portal, which is great. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, my Rakuten doesn't come back in cash to me, but it transfers into American Express points. That's a, that's something new that mm-hmm. I just learned from you. I did not know that you could do that. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's a ton. Like it's obviously only select partners, mm-hmm. but whenever I can, I take that. So, um, well, I wanted to talk about the difference between my Capital One and my Rocketin, but if you want to continue with something else, then I'll let you go for it. I mean, all I have to say with Rakuten is that they also uh, offer in-store availability or in-store offers as well too and it works the same way as the major airlines shopping portals where you have to go in you link your credit card and then you manually have to click and type or tap on the store that you want activated so um tons of options out there literally just shopping you should always have something come back to you Mm -hmm. nowadays yeah Mm -hmm. definitely Um, yeah, like I said, I don't use portals as extensively as you do, but I also have no, I'm only loyal to my credit cards, not any airlines or hotels yet. I'm trying to build loyalty, but everyone keeps changing their programs. So I'm (laughs) like, oh, I don't want to be loyal to nobody except the bank. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Right. Yeah. (laughs) Um, but besides Rakuten, the only other shopping portal I use is Capital One shopping portal. Uh, this is for my Capital One Venture X, which Trizzy uses this too. Now, or you, Trizzy has the Capital One Venture X, but you don't use the shopping portal, correct? It's it's new. So okay. it's new in the rotation of me checking to see okay. which one will offer the best. Okay. Okay. So the thing with the shopping portal is I have the extension, just like I have the Rakuten extension. So that's the annoying part is they both pop up for me at the same time. And it obviously just hit whatever gives me the biggest cash back. So nice. if like I'm on American Eagle or AE.com buying jeans and Rakuten's offering me 2%, but Capital One's offering me 6%, then I'm obviously going to click on the Capital One shopping portal extension. Now, I feel like I've looked into this extensively, but someone can call me out if I'm wrong. The Capital One shopping portal only gets me cash back to use to get a gift card. I don't believe it gets me like mileage back, points back to the credit card. It just gives me like cash back that I could transfer onto a gift card to a Mm. business of my choice. And so about now, and I haven't checked this in maybe a year, year and a half, I have about $30 in my Capital One shopping portal that I could transfer onto a gift card. And the gift cards are things like H&M, Nike, Home Goods, um, restaurants I would never go to, (laughs) but, (laughs) but, you know, random things that that I might find useful or if I want to, but I think that is the only way I can use the Capital One shopping portal. Someone someone DM me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a good episode to do like pro. This was a good one with like pros and cons of using yeah. portals. But yo, if you're working hard for those miles and you want to travel more and you have loyalty like Trizzy does, it's worth it. Exactly. I work hard for my miles. Yeah, she's <laughs> been working since college for these miles. For real. <laughs> well, ever since uh, I even have it statted on here since March of 2017, that's when I joined the Alaska shopping portal. I've earned okay. 6,000 miles off of shopping. So that's 6, about 000. seven years in. Yeah. But is that 6,000 miles? Okay. That's not necessarily like a mile per dollar, right? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. Some could be like three times or some could be 0. 0.5. Oh, so, okay. 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 Yeah. Wow. They all range differently. Miles. And yeah, except- because I'm like comparing if Rakuten's better or if it's Alaska better. So it's like if Rakuten has a better percentage, then I'm going to go with them. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. It's all worth it. And I really hope you guys were inspired to not go online shopping, but when you 
online shop, you use these portals to make sure that you're getting more bang for your buck. Maximizing nowadays. your shopping to work for your travel, right? Exactly. Yeah. Because inflation these days, you got to get something back. <laughs> what do I get for it? Yeah. <laughs> But thanks y'all for listening in on the Ticket to Anywhere podcast. Until the next episode, take care y'all. This is Trizzy at Triz Inc. This is Leah at LA in Flight. To find even more travel tips on budgeting, destinations, and our favorite items, sign up for our monthly newsletter, The Check-In, linked in the show notes or description. This is the Ticket to Anywhere podcast. Thanks for listening.